So today is Wednesday, December 23rd. It's exactly one week since my surgery. Had my follow-up. Got the bandages taken off. Everything's healing well. They did these special bandages that they put on that are, I don't know if they're medicated or what, but they stay on. They, I don't, I didn't have to take any bandages off and re-bandage like I used to have to do. Um, couldn't shower. <laughs> had to do, uh, you know, baby wipe, sponge bath kind of thing for a week. Um, but they took it off, said it's healing really well. All they put on it was something they call paper tape. Um, and it's to stay on until it comes off. I can shower. Just try not to get it wet underneath it. Anyway, it's healing well. My boobies are even. They look, they match now. They didn't match, even though they weren't even. And Peta's right here. She's driving me crazy because I'm talking, and she thinks I'm not talking to her. So, anything. Anyway, things are healing well. Um, still a little sore. You did lipo for the fat transfer. Stop, little girl. On the other booby, where they had to dig out some scar tissue, and there's a big, big kind of like hole in my boob. Plus the scar. Sorry. Stop. Stay. The scar tissue. She's driving me crazy. It's that time of evening when she wants to play. Um, underneath was kind of lumpy. So he did a fat transfer, which meant he did lipo from my belly <laughs> um, to transfer the fat and fill out those areas. And those look really good. My belly. I've never had lipo. But I can, well, I kind of did, but that was along with the tummy tuck and the boobs. And so the tummy tuck pain took away from everything else. So I don't even remember the lipo from that, but the light, it's very, very sore. And I have to wear a wrap for like six weeks. Anyway, um, but it's very sore. It doesn't hurt to move, really. It hurts it, it hurts to touch. Or if I bend over wrong, it's like, oh, it squeezes a little bit, you know. But no much, not too much pain. Um, so we're healing. We're moving right along. I'm wearing a soft bra. I can't wear a cute bra. So when I'm going to Key West next in a few days, I won't be able to wear my cute tops with my push-up bras because... I don't think I'm going to be able to stand um, an underwire bra. And the little little girl has snuck into my lap, which I've been trying to get her to stay off my lap. But she snuck onto my lap, so now she's happy. <laughs> Say hi to everybody, Peta. We're just hanging out on the couch with the Christmas tree. My poor little Charlie Brown Christmas tree. You can't really tell with the lights. The lights kind of... Um, camouflage it from here but and we've got some christmas music on in the background dennis is in key west already i'll uh, meet him there in a few days uh, that's where the flights worked out and so everybody have a good evening thank you for your thoughts and prayers because without it i would never have gotten through this whole process from the very beginning and it's it's still ongoing still taking the medication to keep it away so hopefully it will stay away i've still got another year and a half of that medication so everybody have a wonderful holiday have a merry christmas have a happy new year um and let's get the hell out of 2020 all right peace out y'all edit i forgot to add that this is healing so well and my and i i can go right back into my physical therapy for my shoulder um, as soon as the holidays are over which means that I'll be able to play softball we start practice in February I am so freaking excited to be able to play I haven't played in a year and a half we have two seasons a year so that's a lot of seasons I've missed oh my god I'm so excited I mean I enjoyed the coaching thing but, oh, my God, I miss being out there on the field. I miss hitting. I miss, oh, I just miss it all. Uh, except I need to get my slow ass in shape because I can't run. Peta doesn't like me talking. Stop. But anyway, I wanted to add that. I left that out of my video. I can't believe. I totally forgot. I can play softball now. Woo!